Hey, Toopsters, in two bits. Man, like you say, man, I'm back on the Monte Carlo, man, and I'm building all of the door panels from completely scratch here. <clears throat> like you say, I'm building some custom door panels. Of course, we're doing the Maserati interior from the Maserati. And instead of buying the doors and trying to make all of that stuff work, man, so we put it on the machine and we took it and stretched it out. So we stretched it out to the size of the door for the Monte Carlo and we cut them all on the Cam Master machine over here. So we drew the whole design out, exactly how the Maserati door panel is, and we cut it out of wood and we added all of our, um, our three-dimensional shape here, of course, with some Bondo. So once it gets wrapped, it's going to look as factory as possible. Of course, we had to make this armrest three foot, four foot long, four foot long armrest, which will be pretty dope, man. We have two six and a halves in the door up front. We got two in the back, two tweeters. So this thing here should be super loud, super duper loud, man. Nice and clean. And like I said, we got the, um, all of these panels here start slapping back in place like this here. Um, this here be, of course, the, the handle, window switches here, and this is the pull grab. We're going to finish off the inside off with a nice little pocket, wrap it in some suede, and of course, you know, we got to put the Mazi Carlo logo in the back here. Uh, just make something nice and clean and dope. Like I say, it's coming all together now. Um, we closing it all off here, so I'm closing it all off now, so. Got one 95% uh, done. This is the second one. This is the driver one. So that's that. And of course, we got all of the factory switches. My boy Hacksaw is a genius. So he got all of the factory switches to work and made his own little pigtail for it. So it'll all bolt on as factory should. That's the driver. This is the passenger. And of course, the Ghibli, uh, this is the radio. So we got the factory. Um, this is here is the bass knob. And this here, I think, is for the LEDs or something like that. So we're using all of the factory switches from the car. No aftermarket switches from the car. Of course, the push start. The factory push start. The factory headlight switch. We have everything wired up um, and ready to go in. And everything have a pigtail on it. So it should be nice and easy. And this is some box he made for. I don't know. So I'm going to put all of that back in here. But these are all of the factory switches from the, the Ghibli, the Maserati Ghibli that's going in the, into Monte Carlo. And like you say, man, we building the door panels. I'm getting all of the door panels and stuff built now. We start to fab up the trunk, get this trunk closed off. We're going to do something nice and dope. Of course, he's not going to be able to have a ton of room for, um, for luggage or anything. But if he's going somewhere in, it won't nobody be in the back seat. So you just throw him in the back. So we're going to make a four amp rack around the bottom. Close this off here, the spare tie hole. We're going to close that off. Put the amp rack down the bottom and towards the front. So, and like you said, we're going to mount this, um, this fuse box we made. We're going to mount that to where he'll easily be able to get to it and assess some of his fuses if any of them was to ever blow. Um, and like you say, man, you know, this is all mechanical and man-made, so things do happen. That's why we try to cover our ass as much as possible. And this car is not going down the street and... So, we got to make sure we do it right and cover up a lot. So, like you say, this is this new fuse box, what we're making. So, we're going to make a holder in the back. So, he'll just have to take his, little, his trunk panel off once we get it all closed in and be able to assess all of his fuses for everything that we had installed. And like you say, these are this is half of the door here. Like you say, I'm test fitting it now and... 
going to start closing in all of these gaps here so it looks nice and smooth and flush once we get it all in. Like I say, the AC is officially in. Um, let's see our checklist. I'm waiting on the new tail lights to come in. We had to get some new ones, man. The other one was, was cracked up. That was a no-go. That was a no-fly. So uh, we're down to the power windows, the door panels, paint the tail light lens. Fans, fuel pump, thermostat, and dry shaft. So we're down to the last of the last on this one here. And uh, we should be getting this thing here. Crunk up, running here shortly. Got the new motor mount bolts in today. We got the cross member in today. Uh, all of the bolts in today. So we're rocking and rolling, man. I think we got a couple sensors to switch out. That, that top sensor and he got to add some knock sensors on the bottom and we got a new powerhouse alternator that's getting built for it um, right down the street here thank god there was a local place that does that type of stuff so man that's it on that man we got the new eyeballs in today so of course they're the halos so we got the new eyeballs installed like you said all of the AC is plumbed up Ran into this nice fitting, which is running on the inside. So it gives it a nice clean look on the outside. Uh, once we stick the radiator and the um, trance cooler, that's the condenser. So next we'll be putting the uh, trans, um, transmission cooler in and getting that um, plumbed up. And shoot, that's, we rocking and rolling, man. That's the old gas tank. Surprisingly, still got a little fuel still left in it, but that's going out back. Don't need it no more. That's the radiator with both fans uh, around here to be wound those up next. We uh, actually painted them blue to match also. So, man, we're closing this thing here off, man. We got one more lock cylinder to get. We can get that from a local store. We're just going to grab both of them so both keys match. Find the mirrors. Man, and shoot. Boy, he about to rap. Um, I found some new marker lights for the backs and the fronts. So we're putting all new lights in them. Make sure this thing glow nice and bright today. Uh, that's about that on that, man. Of course, you know he on the bulges. You know I keep the rim lady working. You know I keep the rim lady working. Of course, we went with all Rockford Fosgate in this one here, man. Uh, we love the way Rockford sound. It's our, it's our preference. It's our choice. The customer was with it. So, bam. That's that on that. We know it's a thousand other brands out there you could choose from that's way louder, that, that more bass. But this is our preference for the efficiency. And this is what we're going with, man. This this power series t2 this monster here so we like what we like you like what you like at the end of the day man let's go to these car shows fraternize and um network that's what it's all about so next like i said we got the gauges in already uh back seats in we're making the cover panels for the back here Man, that's the Mazi Carlo update, man. I know y'all ready for this one. Just like I'm ready for this one, man. We got so many projects we're trying to finish up for August the 10th is the Key to the City Car and Bike Show held in my hometown, Lancaster, South Carolina. So, man, y'all come out, show us some love, and uh, check out some of these fly rides that's going to definitely be there. And we'll be taking the Mazi Carlo on tour with us to some of these shows. We should be finishing this one up in the next... Um, in the next few weeks to a month. And like I say, I got a dunk that's finna be dropping. I know y'all remember Crocodile Dundee. That one is getting the last little finishing touches as far as the suspension and the frame notch. And it's finna come in. Only thing we have left on that one is fuel. It's fuel and exhaust. And we rocking and rolling, man. We rocking and rolling. I got this one to drop. Huh. 
I got Charles Barkley to drop. Y'all ain't saw Charles Barkley yet. I got Charles Barkley to drop, man. And I think I'm going to pull Piggy out this year, man. What y'all think about Piggy? I'm char I've been charging up the batteries all weekend, man. The next show, I think we in Piggy Bundy. Can I get a vote? Because I said, man, with Peggy and Rambo, I was the Pontiac King. Ain't nobody proved me wrong, so that's that on that, man. But in a minute, man, of course, man, I got so many projects I'm finna drop, man. We working a lot behind the scenes. I know y'all haven't saw me in a minute. I haven't been dropping videos as regular, but trust me, we are working, man. I'm trying to get them out as fast as they coming in. We just so overloaded with work, man, I can't even think straight. But that's a good problem to have, man. Investing in yourself. And like I always say, man, they always look better than going than coming. So I'm going to be back in a minute, maybe two. Sheesh. <laughs>